good morning. It is Wednesday, the 24th of April. I have spent my morning so far putting together some patio furniture in my dining room. Well, living room. So, <laughs> my mum and dad have bought some beautiful new garden furniture and I've decided to put it up in here for some reason. And that reason being my dad told me to. And then I decorated so anyone that watches Will and Grace or ever did, you will understand. And I think this is why my mum has always wanted patio furniture. But, ta-da! I am having the dilemma of I really need to wash my hair but I don't want to fuck fit them up. I don't really look beautiful. Now that I've washed them and uh, cleaned them up a little bit. Also, my mum's like obsessed with my leaf so I thought she was going to give me a slap and I think she might actually end up getting her own one. But yeah, I love them. They're perfect, they're wonderful. Life admin day, as Wednesday should be. Excuse me. And I'm going back to work tomorrow after my glorious four days off. Right then, it is 10 to 2, and my dad's just come into my room and gone. There he is. He's come into my room and gone. Can you give me a lift into town? And I go, Yeah, where do you want to go? At Libby Road. Why? I'm going to see Greg. You know who Greg is? Go on, let's go tattoo. We're going, we're going. Greg is the guy who did my first five tattoos. Dad's that first one tattoo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think my five or six. Well, it's been four years since Dad got his, and it's been over six since I got mine. So let's go. Three or four years ago, I met my mate. I couldn't help me. I could hear somebody rapping that from the door. I went there, but it was Mike trying to post a Swiss card to the letterbox. I don't know where the start is. Find it. Yeah? It's. <laughs> where is it? There. Oh, you found some. Haha! <laughs> right. I put three layers on. And how many layers did Greg put on? Two. Oh, look at that, that's rank. That's going straight in the sink. <laughs> this is this is Greg's this bit. I shit. think just roll it down my arm because it's not gonna come. Oh wait, got it, got it. Oh, okay. Ugh, that's, oh, it's, yeah, it's so, slimy. It's so sweaty. That's why you don't want to touch it. Oh, gross. Don't touch me! <laughs> as far away as I can be. Uh, well, that's just so mean. Let's have a look. That is rank. That is fully sweated. Look yeah. at all that goop. And you can see where... Like, where the cling film was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cling, cling film uh, tide mark. <laughs> <laughs> it's so rank. Oh, God. It, it, oh. Yeah, sweaty. That needs a wash. Rank. Look. Look at all that snot. <laughs> Tattooed snot. <laughs> That's so rank. That's always my favourite bit. Oh shit, that was a big one. Oh, look how grey I am. <laughs> but it looks so much cleaner already. Well, that's better. There's actually colour in there. Exactly. Or just a shade of blue. It is, it's lovely. T shirt. You know, when I saw it before you wrapped it up, that little white star there, that was red. Because <laughs> you've got it. <laughs> Where's all the towels gone? Look at that, now you need to pack a toilet roll. Um, that well, looks for, lovely! For the rest of me. Oh uh, yeah. For the bit of me that isn't It tempting. looks real shiny. Ooh. Hello. <coughs> it is Tuesday, the 30th of March. Not March, it's fucking April. That's how quick this month has gone. Like, it's the last day of April. It has been the quickest month of my life ever. I'm just like halfway through drying my hair and then I realised it is the last day of April. So let's have a jet, shall we? I've been really poorly for the past like three days, probably a little bit longer. On Sunday I actually had to ring in sick for work, which I hated and it fucking sucked. Because if you haven't gathered by now, I really love my job and I really didn't want to have to ring in sick and obviously I lose out a lot of money when I have a day off. Um, so yeah, that sucked, but I was literally 
throwing up for hours, like full on head in the toilet situation. It was bad. And I'm still recovering, still don't feel great. Only just being able to start eating food and keeping it down. But I had a shower this morning. It's still the morning, right? Yeah, it's three minutes past eleven. But I'm I was supposed to have a house viewing today. And I was supposed to have a house viewing yesterday. They both got cancelled within an hour of us supposed to be seeing them because a person had already put an application in and paid the fees and stuff so obviously they can't take any more viewings, they have to take it off the market pretty much immediately. So that's fucking sucked and me and Hannah are both in really shitty moods because of it. We just want to find a nice house and the one we were going to see today we had such high hopes for. I'm not happy because it was like around Boothry Estate area, closer to Hazel than that, but like it was a three bedroom house and it looked really good, so we're peeved that we didn't get to see it. But next Thursday, not Thursday coming, Thursday after, Hannah's trying to get some time off work to see what is basically the dream house because there are two off street parking spots for the house as well and it's 500 a month and we're like but it's like an open house thing really competitive a lot of people want to see it so there's like a our window where people can go view it and obviously it'll be really competitive for applying so that's gonna be wanky as well so we're really downtrodden about it so instead of our viewing we're gonna go to an estate agent's Hannah's gonna pop over to Hazel. We're gonna go to an estate agent and be like, look, we've had, I think at this point, six viewings cancelled, either the day before or on the day we were supposed to see them. And imagine if we were like traveling out of town to come and see these properties, or if we had actually taken time off work to see them, and then they got cancelled on the day, like we'd be losing out on a lot of money. Thankfully we're not, but like it's still really shit. I feel crappy. And hopefully I'm actually gonna go get to see Endgame today. I've been very excited and I've done Touchwood very well at avoiding spoilers so far. So I'd very much like that. And I would also very much like to feel better. <sighs> Me and Hannah are gonna go shout at some estate agents now. Because why does it smell like bubble gum in here? I think it's this. They gave me a little air freshener, but they ah, usually give me you know, a yellow one. No, but they usually give me a real shit like you know prestige hand car wash, like the branded one. And they give me a little love one. I've got a yellow one in my car. That well, smells I think, nice. I think it. I was just assuming they gave everyone yellow ones, but maybe it's because I am also. I know, I'm BFS. like, if they just change to love heart ones, or do they just love me particularly? Look, it's an emo. Oh my god! Hey. I love emos. Hi, 2010. I'm also an emo. It's fine. Is that an emo I know? <laughs> I don't think it is. Be skinny. I thought it was an emo I knew, but it's not. Uh, Why is it so hot, Hannah? I want to cry. Oh, dear, no. Uh, fucking hell, dude. Oh, there they are. Fucking lads. Fucking bitches. Sick of you, bitches. Prepare yourselves for two ladies in their 20s who are going to come and seem very mildly upset <laughs> because we cannot find a house that we want a house. Help me. Help me, I'm poor. Look at our super grown up food shop. Also, look at the sheer size of this Nutella. Like, that's not even funny. That's not even just my small hands either. But you do have proper grown up cereal. I've been a cross between a child and a grown up, so I have fromage first and lots of Pepsi, but I also have deodorant and fruit and some vegetables somewhere through some celery in here somewhere. Uh, uh, vegetable. Celery. But what I really want is this. Remember when they used to do pink cash? Yeah, I also really want that. This, this, that just looks so beautiful. All of the spreads. Oh, I love the spreads. Oh my god. 
That looks amazing. I love white chocolate. Aww. Is that got crispy bits in? Yeah, it's got crispy bits. Winders, oh. whatever that. I wonder if they still taste good. Should we get some? I probably will see it. What, seriously, it's fruit. No, but it's gelatin. You uh, should actually eat them if it's got gelatin in it. Yeah, I know. I want one there. Wait, what? Right, uh, food first, most texture should never spoil. Gelatin aging. It has actually not got any gelatin in. <laughs> Apple and you know strawberry. Oh, see, it's a bitch. These are vegan. Yeah. Oh my god. Hey, sorry. My world okay. has just changed. Are they actually? Uh, Hannah, there's actually a sign that says suitable for vegetarians on it. I know, but I'm vegan. Right there. But it's, if it's suitable for vegetarians, it's not exactly going to have like milk in it. Yeah. It looks like a bug. <laughs> These are smaller than I remember. Have they shrunk them? I thought my hands are bigger. I doubt that. <laughs> Me too. I want to eat it. Eat it! Eat it! Oh my arm is so itchy! Oh look how scary it is. Oh my god, the smell's exactly the same. That is nostalgic! Oh my god, I thought you were going to cartoon! Yeah. Throw back the childhood nostalgia. Oh my god, right, carbon, Meg. Carbon. I forgot you had a carbon. <laughs> Where is it? It's carbon. Carbon! It's a trap. Carbon. It doesn't quite unwind the way it does. <laughs> they never did, they never worked. Oh, you got the double one. Are they all gooey? You're pushing me off because it's not stuck properly. <laughs> Tastes so good though. Does it taste like childhood? Oh, it, it actually is like stuck. Look at that. What is what he's going on there? What a fucking comic strip of little fruit people. Do you remember the advert? Kind of. It was so long ago. Oh, yeah, fridge. Oh, yeah, fridge. Oh, yeah, fridge. Because it's a warm day. But you're literally not peeling off. It's just gummy. It's so good though. That is so stuck to my teeth. <laughs> good though. <laughs> Pretty. Yeah. We've just sat and like snapped. Demolished cereal. I've got some hula hoops. That smells so good. I had fruit and um, fruit dipped in chocolate mousse. I had like about three portions worth of really fancy cereal. <laughs> oh my god, do you know we like eventually, maybe at some point in the next like 10 years, live Get together? Yeah. We're, gonna have to, just sit on? we're gonna have to do a list of tags. Mm, I miss tag videos. We'll have to do like the I forgot tag. I had two pairs of socks on. Because <laughs> <laughs> then we're wearing the exact same pair of socks twice. Anyway, oh, I think it's to show them your nails. Look at them. Look at them. It's like they're on. Fire! Hot. She did them herself. And I'm excited because I'm going to have really nice nails all the time when we do eventually in a million years find out. My ears ringing. I need to buy some more colours because I have four. But pink. Neon pink. That's all we need. Like a purpley berry colour. Silver and rose gold. I need black. I want black nails. I might be dying. Black. The ringing Please in my ears. Please do it. My hair's growing so much. I'm in two minds. I might just grow it all back again. Yeah, when are you going to grow it back to like a long bob? A lob. A lob life. Because this side is really long. Be long. I can guarantee you'll grow it and it'll look real nice and you'll be like, I'm a chop it all the end. Right back off again. Oh, that fucking voucher advert. I was going to chop my hair off, but then I got a fringe and I was like, absolutely no chance. Should I get a fringe? It will look exactly like the this. The fear of like a Lego hair. Where it's I just like a little having helmet. Lego hair. Like a little helmet. Pity. I really like having Lego Someone hair. said to me, they was like, oh, why don't you get like a real short fringe? And I was like, baby bangs will not look good on me. Pity. So pretty. I look like a cow. Yeah, basically we're gonna start doing like weird as shit tag videos as part of the moving process. I'll probably be following. I feel like do you know when it was all those like mukbang videos? I'm like that's yeah. just like 
We'll do that. A standard, like, no. Yeah, we'll do that, but with, like, tag videos. <laughs> tag questions. See, that's basically just what we do, but we'll just film we'll it. We'll just film it. <laughs> the colour of my hair is genuinely upsetting me at this point. I think it's just got some pink on it. Okay, so I can't be asked to set up my um, tripod properly, so this is going to be filmed from a very unflattering angle. Let's talk about my April favourite, shall we? I've just been eating and most likely all of my lipstick has gone off. So I have fashion favourites, viewing favourites, makeup favourites and miscellaneous favourites. So let's start with the visible favourite right here. I have got on one of my two Cozy Girl Club Scarenches, which I can honestly say Hand on heart, I have been wearing at least one of these every day, even if it's just to hold my hair out of the way while I've been putting my makeup on, excuse my roots, or to just generally look like the 90s have thrown up all over me. But I love them, and yeah, I think they're absolutely fantastic. That's one thing with, I hate the word influencers, like YouTubers and bloggers and stuff, like you see them create a piece of content for gifted items or sponsored something or whatever and then you never see it again um which i find pretty strange so it'd be nice unless it's like makeup or stuff but you know what i mean like you don't really see it very often with clothes or that kind of thing god this is a very very unflattering angle for me isn't it never mind anyway yeah you don't really see repeated use of these things and I just wanted to take a, a second, I've not been asked to do this at all, like she sent me these scrunchies to take photos in, that was it, she didn't want me to post the photos anywhere, she didn't want me to like talk about her on anything, it was literally she just wanted me to take a couple of pictures that she could post on her Instagram account, um, but she's recently made these um, like cleansing cloths, reusable cleansing cloths for makeup removal and stuff like that and I am genuinely going to go put an order in. So it's not just, hello, I have been gifted some of the cutest shit scrunchies. Like, she's a cute little business bitch and she's got cute little business ideas and they're good for the environment and it's supporting an independent business and for me, local. So, you know, this is so unflattering. Anyway, so yeah, affordable as shit, lovely, supporting a lovely girl. Holly's fantastic, so yeah. Scrunchies are April April five number one. And the rest of it my probably most second most favourite thing from this month have been these um makeup products. So drugstore, cruelty free, beyond affordable, all three bits are from MUA. We have got the they're all pro based stuff. This is the Banana Blair Primer, which smells about So, yeah, and it's also probably the best primer I've ever used. And I stuck to the same collection tea tree primer for about five years before I found that one. Hannah recommended it to me, and then... I don't even think these got recommended to me. I think I just saw them when I was in Superdrug. It's the MUA Pro Base Long Wear Matte Finish Foundation and Concealer. Well, the concealer is full coverage it's all very full coverage and these things are fucking excellent i'm like ridiculously in love with them um so i got them in are they both the same shade yeah one or two wow but so it may seem like a very tiny little pot of foundation well, it's not it's 30 ml so like that's relatively normal but it's got this little like spatula applicator thing. So you apply it using this, or you spatula it onto your face, and you've got to like fully scrape it off because you do not need a lot at all. A little goes an incredibly, incredibly long way. So yeah, I'm feeling happier about my disgraceful skin at the minute because of said products. I had quite a lot of fashion favourites, but I unbox a lot of stuff this month so we'll just skip over all of that to the one thing that I have worn the most out of everything I have bought this month which has been my denim jacket from Peremark 
and it may seem just like a beautiful normal black denim jacket until air fringing on the back just basically my western dream because it's subtle enough for it to not be like a whole style choice and cannot team it with other things that are not like western style but yeah it's it's enough it's perfect i think it's fantastic i've been wearing that pretty much every day i've been wearing it to work the weather is cold for it it's been lovely like my big fluffy leopard print coat from nasty gal that i got fucking love it but it's not been cold enough for it i've worn it once this month i've worn that almost every day and it was less than 20 quid so like can't exactly complain um and the last couple of things i've been really enjoying are a youtube channel called ask a mortician ask a mortician it has been incredibly fascinating quite short little videos all on a specific topic the one that i have literally just been watching whilst trying to eat a little bit of lunch and feeling miserably is all about necrophilia and it's honestly just very interesting so yeah if you're into like true crime and morbid things like that it's definitely worth having a look she's very interesting yeah just two little days that have been my favorite this month have been the day in the Easter holidays where Rose came to visit and we all went to the deep that was just fantastic and then mine and Hannah's hangover day when we went to Hornsey they were just some really lovely days that I've stuck in my memory from this month and then my number one favorite things from April have been my new piercing and my new tattoos so yeah I just want to talk a little bit more about those how my healing is going so obviously I had my moon touched up and that is just healing beautifully and then the trickier ones are my fingers so yeah that's scabby as shit that is scabby as shit they're taking a lot longer to heal than my tattoos normally do but that's obviously because of my hand but as far as I'm aware they are healing really beautifully and I don't really have any complaints apart from how fucking itchy they are beyond itchy like so beyond itchy but I'm trying to power through and my nipple piercing is basically already healed so that's like the least fuss I've ever had with a piercing in my life amazing so yeah just happiness over here and I'm starting to feel a little bit better I just keep looking at next door's garden, they've got so many weeds. Not weed, but like weeds. Like the weeds that you don't want. The weeds that don't make you money. Anyway. That was April. I hope you've all had a lovely month. And I can't believe it's about to be May. And of course I just got the Justin Timberlake meme <laughs> in my head. Anyway. So summer's coming. Nice. I'll see you in there. It's gonna be.